Hey, I want to welcome everybody to today's video. But before we get into the content of today's video, my heart and my hopes and my prayers go out to each and every one of you. Hopefully that you're staying safe and secure in these unprecedented times that we're facing. So we're all in this together. Let's get together and let's make some great content, especially as we have some time working from home. In last week's video, when I did the Raspberry Pi and the Victron Energy VRM portal, um, I mentioned that we were gonna be looking at this device right here. And so this is going to be the content and the subject matter of today's video. This is how I keep my solar system completely connected to the internet off grid using cellular power and DC power only. And so I'm super excited about this video. So if this is something that you're interested in, Hang out and we're going to explore this device together right after this. Welcome to the channel where we talk about solar power, web technology, and life stories. If these are interesting topics to you, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we have new videos. So again, thanks for joining us and we hope that you enjoy the video. Okay, this is the Pepwave Max BR1 Mini. And I have this connected directly into the 24 volt to 12 volt step down. And it's coming into the bottom of the unit right here. Now you can also plug this into AC power, but I am choosing to do this directly through DC so that I don't have to have this go through the inverter, which is right below, right there. This is taking power directly off of the 12 volt step down coming in from the battery bank. So what I'd like to do now is take this off the wall and show you all of the components and how this device works and why I feel that this is one of the best assets that I have in my solar system. So we're going to do that in just a moment. Okay, here is the device with the antennas taken off of it. And so it's just a small box, roughly three inches by four inches, and maybe an inch and a half deep. So it's a pretty small device, small footprint, and if you just mount this on the wall, it doesn't take up that much space. So here on the back, all you have to do is put on these cellular antennas and they can swivel and move however you want them to. And so this gets the cellular signal coming in to wherever you're using the, the device and whatever space you're using in the device. And so that's how that works there. Then this here is actually your Wi-Fi antenna. So you'll have three antennas on this. And these two are getting the cellular connection coming in. And then this one is providing the Wi-Fi signal out to the devices that you might use. It also has two ethernet ports that you can use here. And then this is the DC in power if you wanted to use DC power and if you wanna plug it in. And here is the, um, the so actually this is the, the power cord that you would plug into the wall. It has a converter to get it DC in. But this is here is if you wanna go directly from a battery and get direct DC current coming in directly from a battery. So this would be a wall plug here and this would be coming in from the battery. And then you have your two ethernet ports. Now, this also comes with this device here. I don't use this because this is really geared for fleet management, like in vehicles. And so you can plug this here on this other end down here, and this is a GPS tracker. So it will give you location of where your vehicles might be. So if you're running fleet management, uh, those kinds of things you can, using the, the DC coming directly in from the battery off your fuse box in your car, you could power this uh, while you're driving and have the GPS and so you would know where your fleet is. So I don't use that. This here then is the, uh, the power cord that you would plug in here. And again, I don't use that either because I'm going in directly into the battery uh, right here as you saw just a moment ago. Now the other thing that's really, really nice, I'm going to take these off so that you can see what this looks like. Uh, here on the back is where your SIM cards would go and it just pops in and it's just a regular SIM card. 
Now, the nice thing about this is, is it has dual SIM card slots. So say for instance, you wanted to have some redundancy, you can have a provider with uh, in this slot and you could have another provider in that slot. So if for some reason this provider's cellular service went down, it would automatically trigger and go to the other one so that you have some redundancy. Obviously here in my shed, I don't need that kind of redundancy. So I just have the one SIM card and I put that in, mounted up on the wall and I have cellular uh, connectivity to my shed with Wi-Fi that is persistent, meaning that it's always going to stay on. As long as there's power plugged into this thing, whether it's with the battery or the DC in, you are going to always have a persistent internet connection and this device is very, very powerful and very, very cool. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below of where you can look at the spec sheet and the websites. And also here coming up in just one moment, I'm going to break down my pros and my cons as to why you should or should not use this device. So coming up next, let's look at the pros and cons of this device. All right, I'm going to go over the pros on what I feel are the very essential items to this for my application. So what I may consider a pro or a con, it may have value to you and it may not. So these are the things that I think are very valuable to me. The, one of the pros here in this is that I can plug it directly into my battery bank using the DC power from my step down. That's a pro for me. I don't have to rely on an inverter. Now, if you're using this just inside of a house or you do only have an inverter, then you can also use the DC convert, AC to DC converter and plug this directly into an inverter. So huge pros there for me. Also, you have the ethernet ports, which are right here. So if you have a device that isn't wireless, but yet it might have an ethernet port, then you can plug those directly in here. Huge pros. The other thing too is it's persistent, meaning it's gonna always stay on and always stay connected to the internet. Some of these other cheaper uh, modems that you might get from the uh, cellular store, like a MiFi or just some of these other ones, if there's no internet or no inter connectivity happening, they're going to shut off. This is going to always stay on, always stay connected, just like your router inside your house would. So those are, those are huge pros for me. The other pro is the ability to have multiple providers that you can put into the SIM card. So maybe you have um, one location where one provider works really well and you're in a mobile, um, mobile unit, like an RV or a camper or something like that, and you go someplace else and that provider doesn't work in that area, but another provider does. You can just put in their SIM slots and this is compatible with all major carriers in the US. And so that is a huge uh, pro for me. The other pros for me is the temperature range that this thing operates. It's huge. I think it goes to like 140 degrees and like down to like zero degrees as far as its functionality. I'll have a description below on those spec sheets so you can link to that PDF. But here in the summertime, I used this all summer this last year, and there were a couple days where it got to 120 degrees outside, and this was still maintaining connectivity. And so it, it's a powerhouse. Um, another pro is it's, it's made out of metal. This is not plastic. This is very well built, which brings me to the only con that I have. This is a very high quality device. It's very robust, it's very powerful, it's gonna meet all of your needs, but it comes at a price. I think it's gonna vary depending upon where you might go anywhere from $350 to $380 for this device. So, not cheap, but you get what you pay for. And so that's really my only con. And so that might be a, a showstopper for some of you, but for me it was worth it and I love this unit. And so what I'm going to do next in this video, so don't go just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back up on the wall. We're going to get all of my devices connected and I'm going to show you everything that I run off of this in the shed off of this device. So stay tuned. You're going to want to see everything that wirelessly connects to the Internet with this device coming up just next. In last week's video, we talked about the Raspberry Pi being connected to the internet so that I can remotely manage and monitor the system. Now that is connected via Wi-Fi 
again to that unit. So that is one of the things that I have connected here in my shed that's using cellular technology, which allows me to remotely monitor everything that's going on in my shed. The other thing that I love is this is my ambient weather, weather station. And so I can see all of my weather here inside. I've got a little weather station outside and I'll show you a picture of that here in just a second. But this is all connected. So you see here, it's connected to the internet. We've got it connected to Weather Underground. We've got it connected to ambientweathers.net system so that I can remotely monitor the weather and every aspect of the weather around my house and my shed using the wireless cellular technology. Here is another device here that I can remotely turn on and off using the Wi-Fi. It turns on and on lights. So you've got this light that's kind of mounted to it. I use that light for my videos. But as you can see here, there's a little Wi-Fi connector there. So I can turn on this plug one and plug two remotely from anywhere in the world. Now you remember that in my video, I said that there is ethernet on the bottom of it. Well, that ethernet comes down here, runs behind my desk, and it powers my Apple TV and this monitor. So when I'm, when I'm in here working, I can connect my Apple TV up to the internet and watch TV while I am working. And because it's, you know, LTE technology and the speeds are pretty fast, anywhere from 15 to 30 megabits per second, I can actually stream video to the Apple TV and watch any content that I want there. The other thing that I have in the shed is this security monitor. You'll notice there you've got that antenna that is connected to the Wi-Fi, and this is a real link. And this actually is powered completely off of solar power. There's no plug in to grid tie or to um, the DC off of my solar unit. It has its own solar panel and is completely powered uh, with a little lithium ion battery in there and it connects to the cloud and I can see everything that's happening um, on my shed. Also, I have this security light that's transmitting a video to the cloud so that I can see the outside of my shed as well. As I back up a little bit here, I have a camera right there that shows me uh, what's going on in the backyard and I can remotely monitor my backyard with this Wi-Fi all powered off of solar. And then up there, that is my weather station that is wirelessly transmitting that information to the ambient weather station. And I can see all of that information online. And everything is done with this guy right there. Super, super cool stuff. One of the other things that we can do on this is I, if I open up the CASA app, I can remotely turn on and off devices inside my shed using the cellular technology that is provided. So that is so cool. Look, I can turn this off and I have some other ones over here that I can turn on and off. I've got some light switches that I can turn on and off so I can remotely turn on and off from anywhere in the world using that cellular router powered by solar. I can turn on lights in my shed. Super, super cool. Hey everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If this is content that you like, please go ahead and like and subscribe, hit that bell, and we will see you next time around.